Bukhara, blessed city of God. This oasis city is located in Uzbekistan, on the edge of the Kizilkum Desert. In the Middle Ages, it was one of the most important religious and economic centers of the Islamic world. Labi Hauz, a large water basin, is, along with several irrigation canals, fed by the Sarashan River. In ancient times, Bukhara was part of Sogdia, a region in Central Asia in which, from the second half of the first millennium BC, a city-like plan developed. It was a city of poetry, myths and legends, with 350 mosques and more than 100 madrasas. On the outskirt of the ancient town of Charminar is the madrasa of the Four Minarets. It was built in 1807 by a wealthy Turkmen. Returning to the center, there's a synagogue. In the middle of the 19th century, 500 Jews lived here. Beneath the domes of ancient bazaars, trade still continues today. The oldest surviving Magokia Tori Mosque is located on the site of what was originally a place of worship for the moon god Sin, and later a Zoroastrian fire temple. Due to its central location on the Silk Road, in pre-Islamic times, Bukhara was an important center of trade. All manner of goods were sold here. A single building is a reminder of the great astronomer Ulug Beg the homonymous madrasa whose first creations most likely appeared in 1417. And opposite is the magnificent Abdalaziz Khan madrasa. A dome was built above the intersection of the trading routes and various goods offered for sale. Toki's Aragon became well known for its jewelry. The splendid Paul Kalyon complex is even now a notable city landmark. It contains the May Arab Madrasa that is still used as a religious institution. And also, the famous Kalyon Minar Minaret. From almost 50 meters, the Muetzin overlooks the Kalyon Mosque. The Friday Mosque can accommodate 10,000 worshippers. It was built in the early 16th century, the period of rule of the Shabanids, an inscription dated 1514 indicates when it was built. Following the foundation of the Arab Caliphate in the 7th century, Islam was established, and the Ark Citadel became the castle of the Emir of Bukhara, in which he and his confidants resided. In the Middle Ages, the citadel was a complete city with a palace, mosques, government buildings, warehouses, a prison and public gathering place.
the emirs were regarded as prodigal, addicted to both pomp and cruelty, until the last one was forced to flee from Russian rule. A small museum contains the throne of the last emir. The residential area outside the old town enjoyed much prosperity. To show off its wealth, the Baland Mosque was built according to Timurid design. Chashma Ayyub is a respected pilgrimage destination. When this area was desert, its inhabitants begged God for water. Hyob appeared, banging a stick on the ground, and consequently, a fountain filled with water. The greatest scholars, poets, and thinkers lived in Bukhara. Including one of the most famous founders of Sufism, who was both born and laid to rest here. Namely, Baghaudin Naqshbandi, for whom this holy place of pilgrimage in Bukhara was built during its construction period of five centuries. He became a sheikh and also one of the spiritual teachers of the later great Timur. The motto of the Sufi Brotherhood was the way to God is in mutual relationship with him, and not in hermitage. Pilgrims travel here from far and wide. The pre-Mongolian mausoleum of the Samanid rulers is an example of Samanid brick architecture and is also the oldest mausoleum in Central Asia. To the west of the old town is the large Khorus Bakr necropolis, burial place of Abu Bakr and his three brothers, the Saeeds, descendants of the Prophet. On the northern outskirts is the Sitorai Mohi Hosa, summer palace of the last Emir of Bukhara. He spent less and less time in the Ark and preferred to relax here in the magnificent ambience of the palace. The spacious park also included the Emir's harem. Until the very end, he craved in vain for the eldest daughter of the Tsar. A water basin in front of the main palace makes it appear even larger. The rooms are now used as a museum for tapestries and embroidery. Bukhara continues to be associated with the ancient Silk Road and its historic architectural heritage is an exceptional combination of numerous colorful epochs.